drop down radio buttons and check box we are learning how to extend an existing form by adding drop down radio buttons and check boxes some work has already been done in the last lecture and this is the second part of that lecture this is the continuing part of that lecture in this tutorial we will do the remaining work so let us see what we have already done and what needs to be done we started with the objective of modifying our form very initially we had just one input text but in the previous tutorial we have decided to add more form elements so for each form element we will have to add our product model add properties to our product model class for each new form element a new property will be added to the product model class this work we have already done because we decided that our form will contain three more additional form elements one for a checkbox one for a radio button list and one for the drop down for each of these input elements we have added three properties to the product model class in the previous tutorial we have added a boolean is active item quality item location these two properties are based on enumeration called quality and enumeration called location you can go through the previous tutorial to have a look at how we made these enumerations and how we added these properties we have also made corresponding changes to the database already the product table of the database required modification to the product model class we had to add three properties corresponding to these properties we had to add three columns to the table called product this has also been done so this is done this is done today we are going to modify the form we will be adding more form elements to this form today let me start by showing you the preview of the ultimate target that we want let me show you a preview of the form that we want this is the modified form that is our target this we already had long back but we are going to add this checkbox this drop down and this set of radio buttons this is our ultimate target that we want to achieve for this we will have to start by modifying our razor page the razor page will now need modifications we have already done the work for modifying the product model we have already done the work for modifying the database now this is the last step that is required so let us proceed for it come to the solution explorer uh, come to the solution explorer open your project this is the project come to the pages folder find the razor page index.cshtml open this file opening this file we will add the modifications to this file when you open the razor page this file the razor page is index.cshtml file when you open this file this story will open for you we have been doing this work in the past tutorials so most of the code must be familiar let me recollect this add page directive this was used for handling our edit and update routes add namespace we are going to add today when we add this this namespace directive will work in the same way as using our namespace directives that we use on the cs files this use this will help us prevent the repetition of the path when we are going to refer the models and classes from this namespace so this is one thing that you have to add then the model we have already been referencing the index model class has been written as such we have been using this this add tag helper it was also used it was also required for the input tags to work properly this has also been done earlier then remember that we used this code block for the razor this code block was used for creating a boolean b is editing this this variable was used as a test for whether the page is in edit mode or is it in data entry mode this also has been done today we are going to add this part of the code this is what we have to add today so why do we what is being done here this is a drop down this drop down is based on an enumeration 
द इन्यूमरेशन इज लोकेशन इफ यू रिमेम्बर आर लास्ट टिटोरियल दिस लोकेशन हैज थ्री एलिमेंट एशिया इजू एंड अफ्रीका दीज एलिमेंट हैव टू बी शोन इन द ड्रॉप डाउन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज थ्री एलिमेंट वी हैव ऑल्सो टू शो दिस सिलेक्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो टू बी शोन सो नाउ ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस ड्रॉप डाउन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द टाइप सिलेक्ट लिस्ट आइटम लेट मी रिपीट ईच ऑब्जेक्ट विल बी अ सिलेक्ट लिस्ट आइटम फॉर दिस वी विल नीड अ कलेक्शन सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड वेयर लोकेशन दिस विल बी द वेरिएबल फॉर कलेक्शन द कलेक्शन विल बी ऑफ सिलेक्ट लिस्ट आइटम दिस लिस्ट आइटम विल बी डिराइव्ड बाय यूजिंग अ लूप अराउंड आर इन्यूमरेशन बट दिस इन्यूमरेशन इट डजेंट कंटेन दिस वैल्यू कॉ फॉर सिलेक्ट we will have to artificially add it first so locations dot add new select list item select this will be the display the value has been kept as empty this empty will help us use the required the required html5 attribute for testing for validating if the user keeps it selected and tries to push the submit button then the required attribute on the select will fire and will tell him to select something i will come to that in a moment where i have added that required okay let me show you straight way then i'll come back this is a select that i'll be using and this is where it will work let me go back so this will add the select after that a for each is run on the enumeration system dot enum dot get values on the enumeration we are running a for each and each time we are adding new select list item item dot to string the display and this is the backend value so this part is used to fill my locations enumeration this is what i will ultimately connect to my drop down so that the drop down items are automatically generated tomorrow if i add or remove elements from my enumeration then these these rows these items will automatically appear and they will automatically be removed so this is a very good artifice that you should remember you can use it as such in your own projects also after this let us come this is the form that was already there because we have been using it for this input so this was already there asp a input asp for product name this is this input this was already there now we have to attach this checkbox for this we have used input asp for product dot is active is active is a boolean property that we have added so this will connect this to this checkbox in fact this boolean will create this checkbox for us and this active is obtained label asp for this is the display label attached to this checkbox and after this select tag this will be for this drop down this is the select tag this is again a tag helper asp for product dot item location for this property and items are obtained from the variable called locations these locations we have set here and required attribute will make sure that the user makes some selection doesn't leave it as select this is one line tag helper that will do most of the work for you so this is the change that you will require so that this select will appear after that we will have to add these radio buttons no tag helper is available for radio buttons so we will have to use it manually for that a for each has been run on the quality enumeration the quality enumeration we had three properties superior uh, three elements superior inferior and normal but this also has to be added for none so let us see how we are going to do it for each is run label 
Input type is radio, ASP for product dot item quality and value is at item. This will give the value and this will give the display part. So uh, and this at item for the label will be superior, inferior, normal. This is at item and this will create the radio button. Type is radio. This is how you should do it in your own projects also. After this we have to add this done. If the mode is editing, if the mode is editing, then this none will not be selected. The selection, uh, this is, I'll show first. Input type is radio ASP for product dot item quality. Value is minus one. We have given the value of minus one so that it is none of the values in the enumeration. Firstly, then this is bound to the item quality for this radio button list. It is bound to this list. And if the mode is editing, we are not selecting it. If the mode is not editing else part, the only difference, this is same, 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 same. The only difference is checked. So if it is in data entry mode, then this should be checked by default. If it is not in data entry mode, if it is in editing mode, then the checking will be determined by the value coming from the database. One of these will already be checked by this loop automatically because each radio button is bound to the item quality and depending on the value in the database it will automatically select the correct one. There is a very uh, there is a good amount of background code that is working. So you will have to basically use this exact code in your own projects also. It will help you write the code in a very efficient way. You do not need to make any checks for which radio button should be selected. This will be automatically done by this story. So this you will remember. After that this was already there, this was already there. And now the display part, p dot name was already there. We displayed these values. Today we are adding is active item quality and item location so that they appear adjacent to it. This is the display part that is completed. You can obtain the source code from me so that you can have a uh, closer look at the things but this is the same source code that you will ultimately get. So now we should run the project. Run the form. When you run the form this display will occur according to the razor page that we have written and uh, you will see all the values. You can check for yourself when you enter new value it will save. You can edit this also works. Delete will also work. So you can see edit, delete and insert can all, will all work that you can verify yourself. You can uh, see or appreciate that this, this was changed, this was changed and this was changed. The same form was updated, was upgraded to work. It worked out of the box. I had, I had to make no changes to on post, on get, on edit. So this is the beauty of ASP.NET Core. You must have realized by now how simple is it to create forms using this. I'll close now. Thank you.